From the KATC Weather Lab, here's Rob's forecast. Welcome back. Well, after some stormy weather and some very heavy rainfall not too far away, we're getting the good stuff now. Some lingering clouds through this evening, but we are looking at a mostly sunny and pleasant Friday and Easter weekend, and that is the great news. Let's take a look at the big picture across our part of the world. This is a 24 hour loop showing those very intense showers and storms that produced not only flooding rains, but severe weather across portions of southwest Louisiana, western Louisiana, back across eastern Texas and then over towards St. Mary Parish. We'll talk a little bit more about that in just a bit, but it was rough and tumble there for a while and some very heavy rainfall manifesting, especially over a Beauregard Parish, but this is the last 12 hours of radar and you can see how the storms pretty much moved across most of Acadiana on, on a disorganized fashion. Just about the southeastern tip cleared of the storms right now, but notice this action. Uh, these storms showing a lot of cloud to ground lightning that moved across St. Mary Parish. Uh, more than likely a weak tornado, maybe EF0, perhaps EF1, touching down in around the Morgan City, uh, Patterson, Berwick area. I have some video on that uh, posted on my social media pages. I'm also putting together a full article on the severe weather that occurred across the entire region. All these wind reports right here across portions of Allen Parish into Calcasieu Parish may actually have been tornadoes. In fact, uh, National Weather Service just completing some of the surveys in Allen, also Calcasieu Parish, where a number of EF0 up to EF1 tornadoes with 105 to 110 mile per hour winds have been confirmed. And uh, this wind damage over here by St. Mary Parish, I think that might have been a tornado as well, albeit a brief and weak one, but still a tornado nonetheless. Notice most of Acadiana spared of the severe weather. The heavy rain was confined to where we thought it would be somewhere from the central part of the state back through southwest Louisiana. And look at some of these rainfall totals nearly a foot of rain in the extreme southwestern part of Beauregard Parish to 8 to 10 inches quite common across uh, much of the center part of the parish and elsewhere across Acadiana not seeing much officially 8 tenths of an inch of rain or 0.81 inches out at the airport few spots seeing a couple of inches down towards Sycamore 0.2 and a half or so and then uh, up toward Ville Platte and uh, points to the north and west seeing a couple of inches of rain but that was certainly much more tolerable than 10 to 11 inches of rain that we saw just to the west of us. So in the near term, we're looking good. Lots of sunshine for your Friday as we examine future cast. Saturday looks just as nice as well. This frontal boundary runs out of gas, so we're expecting a very nice Easter Sunday as well with a fair to partly cloudy skies. Temperatures gradually warming up as we go deeper into the weekend. Tonight, though, mid to upper 50s, your low through tomorrow morning. Then tomorrow afternoon, lower 70s with a nice fresh breeze out of the north or northeast and then for tomorrow evening a little bit cooler upper 40s to lower 50s so great sleeping weather as we enter Saturday morning Saturday afternoon warming up into the mid to upper 70s and pushing near 80 by Sunday afternoon after a morning start in the mid 50s so a pleasant evening ahead few clouds out there breezy and cooler later on tonight 56 the low will go 74 the highest for tomorrow with mostly sunny skies just an awesome day north wind at 10 to 18 few higher Gus uh, midday hours. So good, good Friday, Saturday looking good. Easter Sunday morning sunrise services mid 50s, but warming up to 80 degrees for the afternoon. And Monday looks pretty good. Next weather maker late Tuesday night into early Wednesday, and then the more showers and storms Friday into the following weekend. And the European model uh, indicating a pretty strong cold front that may give us a shot at the lower 40s, perhaps even upper 30s as we go into the uh, first full weekend of April, even though uh, Sunday is April 1st. So some mm -hmm. good looking weather ahead, and that's the good news. And most of us dodging all that heavy rain and mm -hmm. severe weather right, as well. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Rob.